Hello everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and I just picked myself up a PS4 Spider-Man bundle at Best Buy during Black Friday for $199. And this game was pretty much the selling point for me. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and this game does not disappoint. And as many of you may already know, I'm more of a retro gamer, but every once in a while there's a game that brings me right back to the future. And Spider-Man is one of those games. So today I'm going to do an unboxing video to show you what comes with a Spider-Man PS4 bundle. Now this is not a PS4 Pro, which supports the 4K, but this is a slim model. And this has one terabyte of storage that's built in, a DualShock 4 wireless controller, and of course, the Spider-Man game. And oddly, it's been a long time since I played a Spider-Man game. I think the last time I really got into a Spider-Man game was on the GameCube. And that was a game called Spider-Man as well, but it was based off the movie at that time that featured Tobey Maguire. And that was way back in 2002. But if I can remember right, I think that game was kind of short and I was able to beat it in like two days, but I did have a lot of fun playing it and I liked that movie as well. Okay, what do we have inside the box? Looks like we have an HDMI cable along with some headphones with a built-in mic for online game play. We got that wireless DualShock 4 controller. And I really like the way these look. They're nice and sleek looking and I got some lights that glow on them that make them really appealing. And it looks like there's also a USB charging cable for that controller along with a power cord for the PS4 itself. So that looks like everything on this side of the box, and now I gotta flip it around so I can get to that PS4. So this is actually my first time owning a PS4, and now I have every PlayStation console. And the reason I waited for the most part is because I'm more of a retro gamer, but also the price was a factor. So when this went on sale for $1.99 with Spider-Man, I couldn't resist. So on this side of the box we have the instruction booklet, the warranty information, and that game is hiding in here somewhere. There it is! And I really like when you get the physical copy of the game. A lot of times when you get these bundles, they give you like a digital download and it's just not the same. When you have the physical game, it just feels like you're getting more for your dollar. And it's also nice that if you wanted to in the future, you could sell this game or trade it in. With a digital copy, you just can't do that. And ever since I got this, my son has been hooked playing this game and he loves this game. And there's a couple other goodies inside this box. We get some PlayStation logo decals. There is the regular colored one and a white version, which is a little hard to see, but it is there. And there's a small booklet inside here that advertises the PlayStation Store with the 20% off coupon. And I see what some of you guys are up to. That's why my thumb was covering that code. And here is the PS4 itself, and it's got a nice and sleek compact design with the PS logo on the top. On the front, you got a power button along with two USB ports and they can be used to charge the controllers or you can just use wired controllers, but wireless is so much better. On the left side of the console is going to be access to your hard drive, so if you ever need to upgrade that or replace that, your access is going to be located right here. And you know what's pretty crazy? It's not that hard to go through a terabyte of storage. Back in the day, trying to go through a terabyte of storage would have been unheard of, but now when you got games that are all 40 gigabytes apiece, it's not that hard. And a nice little feature they added is on the bottom of the console, instead of having just regular rubber circular feet, they're shaped like the PlayStation symbols on the controller. Now this is nothing huge, but I think it gives it a nice little touch. And here's an up close look at that PlayStation 4 controller, and it's got a nice little touchpad that's located in the middle. And like I said, I'm really a big fan of the way these look and feel. It seems to be a nice solid controller. And this is the headphones that have that built-in mic for online gameplay, and the quality of this is okay. I wouldn't say this is spectacular, but it gets the job done. Well, I guess that's it. There is nothing else inside the box, so it's time for me to go have some fun and play some Spider-Man. So if you liked that video, please click that like button. If you wanna hear more from me, please subscribe, and have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time. Show for it. About as close as you get to a happy ending in the real world.